Hey, Kim here from craftbuggy.com. Today I'm going to be doing round two of making this infinity scarf. Reason being, I left in the first tutorial I did, I left out some very key points <laughs> that would really alter how this turns out. So this is like the revised, brand new, um, and it's a lot more informative than the last one. And then I'm going to show you how to make this bow, which detaches really easy with just a snap. And so I'll show you how to attach those snaps as well. And um, I'll give you kind of a couple tips and tricks here along the way, but I'm really excited to show you how to make this really simple infinity scarf. For these infinity scarves, all you're going to need is two types of material. So I'm gonna be using this faux fur and then I'm gonna be using a flannel. So with each of these, you're gonna want 35 inches on the fold. So this is 11 inches and then this is 35 inches, but then I, whenever you open it up, it's 70 inches total. So that was one thing I didn't mention in my previous video. Um, and that's actually the most important thing you need to know. And then same goes for the faux fur, same exact measurements. And then um, if you're wanting to create a bow with this, you're going to need a couple supplies. Um, you're gonna need one three inch by eight inch strip. You're gonna need one nine inch by 10 inch um, rectangle. And then if you're wanting to add some embellishments, I'm using this um, rhinestone strip and I got this at Hobby Lobby and it's an iron on and that'll just kind of attach around the center of the bow. And then I wanna make this a snap-on bow. So these are the snaps I'm using. I got all of this at Hobby Lobby. And then this is the little thingy that attaches the snaps on the back just to make it really easy to get on and off. So, and then you'll just need basic sewing supplies, thread. I am I would recommend red or black thread. I'm gonna be using a pink thread just because it'll show up a little bit better and you can see where my seams are. And then you'll just need pins to keep everything in place. And then that's actually it. So let's go ahead and let's get started. So you're gonna to wanna to start by pinning everything right sides together. So I have pretty furry side up and then I have my the nice side of my flannel facing down inside and then what i'm going to go ahead and do is just pin everything into place and i'm going to pin everything all the way down so i have everything pinned as you can see so right sides together and then what i'm going to go ahead and do is i'm going to create a seam all the way on the edge all the way along the edges of the scarf and it's going to be a one fourth inch seam allowance you can see that i have my seams right along the edges and i brought them all the way to the ends here um so now what i'm going to do i'm going to bring this right side out and then we're going to make this a circle so now that everything is right side out, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is bring your corners, your um, your um, edges together here where the two fabrics meet. And then I'm gonna go ahead and pin those into place. And so I'm gonna find the other side and then I'm gonna pin that. And then I'm gonna take one side and just pin that there's, this requires a little bit of hand sewing, but that's okay. And then I'm just going to sew right along this side here. And then I'm just gonna go as far as it'll let me go until, until I just can't bring this through the sewing machine anymore. And then I'm gonna hand sew the rest. So I finished sewing all the way around. And then you can see there's a little bit of an opening here. So I'm just going to close this up with pins and then I'm just going to um, hand sew this area just so that we're not seeing an obvious pucker. You can run this through your sewing machine, but then it'll just kind of stand out a little bit more and I don't really want to do that. So I'll hand sew this real quick and then I'll meet you right back here and I'll show you how to do the bow. Now that I've completely sewn the seam shut, um, you are all done with the base of your scarf. So you can stop there if you want. And if you wanna add a bow, follow me and we will get started on that. So with your nine by 10 inch piece of fabric, I'm gonna go ahead and fold this hot dog style. And then I'm gonna pin all the way around until I hit the very end. And I'm just gonna leave a small opening at the very bottom just so that we can revert that fabric right side out. 
So I'm going to go ahead and take this to my sewing machine. I'm going to create a 1 4 inch seam allowance all the way around, but I'm going to leave about, about, I don't know, one and a half, two inch opening at the bottom here. That way I can bring it right side out. All right, so I should have left a little bit bigger of an opening, but that's okay. I'm just gonna go ahead and snip these corners here. That way we can get some crisper edges. And then I'm going to bring this fabric right side out. All right, so now that everything is right side out, you can see there's a little bit of an opening here. So you have a couple options. You can either hand sew this closed or you can tuck this in and just create a finishing seam right along the edges. That'll kind of give it a little bit of a stiffer hold for this bow. I'm gonna show you what each of those, each of those methods look like. So I'm gonna create a finishing seam right along the edges here. Here's the finishing seam. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna kind of fold this like an accordion. And then I want my bow to look just like this and then I'm going to just create a small seam right along this middle section that'll just kind of hold everything in place okay so everything is stable so here's the fun part so I'm gonna I wanted a little bit of sparkle to my bow so I'm gonna go ahead and take this little uh, rhinestone strip this is um, iron-on and so <clears throat> if you wanted to sew it on you could but iron-on is so much easier and so all I'm gonna do is wrap it around and then I'm gonna take it to my ironing board and I'm using this Teflon sheet just to protect everything. I just don't want anything melting on my ironing board. And I'm just gonna wrap it around with that Teflon sheet and then I'm gonna take my iron and just a couple times go back and forth right over the rhinestone strip and then it will adhere to my bow. The rhinestones on the bow are completely intact. I love them. So I'm gonna set this aside and then the strip that everything is gonna go on, I'm going to take this little strip. This is my three by eight inch strip. I'm gonna fold this hot dog style and then I'm gonna create a seam, a, a one fourth inch seam allowance right along the edges here. Um, I'm actually gonna leave an opening on this end right here. So I've already done that for you. Um, you can see I left an opening here and I'm gonna go ahead and cut these corners so that I can get some better corners. And then I'm gonna take this tool. This is super helpful. Um, this is one half inch and it's called a tube turner. And then I'm just gonna place that right inside, take my stick and then just bring it out just like that. And you can see, so simple. I love that thing. I got this for a stocking stuffer one year and it's been one of the most helpful things ever. So now what I'm gonna do is just fold these edges inside, which that kind of takes a minute. So anyway, fold it inside and then I'm gonna create a finishing seam, which I've already done for you. And so now I'm gonna show you how to adhere your snaps. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to place the snaps. So I'm gonna be using this thing right here. I don't even know what this is called. I got it at Hobby Lobby though. Oh, here we go. Snap fastener. It's right on there. Snap fastener. And then I'm going to be using these. These are um, three eight inch, three eighths of an inch. And then um, this is really simple. I love this. So um, figure out where, where you want your snap. So I want it about right here. So I'm going to take this little guy. This has the teeth sticking up. And then, whoops. I'm gonna place this right inside here and make sure it is centered where you want it. And make sure the teeth are sticking up. That's the biggest thing. Um, so you just kind of have to play with it a little bit. Now you can see the teeth are sticking up. That's exactly what we want. So now what you're gonna do is place it on the bottom part of this and bring it down. You can see the teeth sticking up through there. And then you're going to take this little guy and you're gonna put it, and you can see there's some kind of like soft, gluey, rubbery stuff in there. And you're gonna place it with the Audi sticking up. So, just like, just like that. 
and then you're going to close this little lid and then you're going to bring it over to some other surface that's not your nice sewing table and you're going to take a hammer and just hammer it down a couple times and I'll show you what that will look like. Okay, now that I'm done hammering it, you can see that it is solid on that side and on this side. So now you kind of want to line it up to to figure out where to put your next one. So then your next one, you know, it's going to be facing the opposite direction. So you're going to make sure the teeth are sticking up this way. So place them on this other side. And same thing, make sure the teeth are popping through. And then Make sure you can see them when this is down as well. And then you're gonna take this part here. This is just, there's a little hole in the middle. And then you wanna make sure you'll see this like clear, clear stuff on the inside here. You want that to face inside toward the teeth. So just like this, place this down. And then same thing, take your hammer and then make sure everything is secure. Now you can see you have a workable snap. And then all you have to do is sew the bow onto the snap. And then I have that done. I'll show you that here in just a moment with the final result. Here is the bow secure to the strip here. And then I wanted to show you, there's some fuzz everywhere, but here is the bow with the finishing seam and here it is without the finishing seam not too much of a difference. Um, so it's just kind of whatever you prefer. So I wanted to show you final result. I'll zoom out here. So I just kind of twirled this scarf around twice and then you can see that you can just attach it very simply with the bow. And then you can have a fun little embellishment with your scarf. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to comment below. I will get back to you. Also, if you wanted to see some other crafts that are similar, um, I have a headband that I make. It's a winter headband and it has a bow attached to it. And that's at craftbuggy.com as well under the sewing section. I also have a bunch of fall crafts and Christmas crafts and just miscellaneous. So feel free to follow me and subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you for the next video.